Hi friends, I trust one quote that life is not a problem to be solved. Life is a gift given by the God to be enjoyed. So let us enjoy the life. So to enjoy the life, life means definitely we should have some problems. So we need to solve those problems in a most amicable way and in a most feasible manner. So without disturbing anyone and without disturbing ourselves or without disturbing any other scenario and obviously there are so many solutions for many problems as a famous quote in Telugu Sata Koti Daridralaki Ananta Koti Upayal Untai so there are so many solutions for the problems so let us see uh, and we are in very critical situations now so how to get rid of these situations and how to enjoy the home atmosphere now let us see what exactly happened in our life in these days this is the daily routine of mine uh, before this problem let us see how my daily routine was being so i woke up around 6 am and uh, after that i need to go i have some fresh up and then i need to go to my college uh, the traveling time is one and a half hour and next i need to teach actually i am an associate professor so i need to teach the students so that is the my working time that's from 8 30 to 12 pm and after that lunch time from 12 to 1 pm after that again my working period from 1 to 4 30 pm actually in many engineering colleges afternoon time is dedicated for lab lab sessions so we have considered like that only and after that traveling from 4 30 to 6 pm so i need to travel back to home and after that i need to prepare for the next day classes so i work from 6 pm to 8 30 pm and after that i go to dinner around 8 30 to 9 pm so around 10 o'clock I go to bed 10 to 6 I have solid sleep around 8 hours of sleep so this is my daily routine so let's simply see what exactly happened in our daily routine uh, so sleep of 8 hours here and I worked around uh, 8.30 to 12 o'clock it's 3 and a half hours and next 1 to 4.30 which is also 3 and a half hours, so 7 hours of work and here 2 and a half hours work, 6 to 8.30, so here 2 and a half hours of work, so 7 plus 2 and a half, 9 and a half hours, maybe around 10 hours of work. So I need to work for 10 hours and I need to sleep for 8 hours. Now what happened? So because of these situations in current days, maybe from the past 3 to 4 weeks, because of these situations what happened uh, okay i woke up around 6 am only that's a natural call so definitely i need to woke up so the traveling time was gone and the working time okay depends upon my mood i may work maybe i may work for three and a half hours also let me consider like that and the lunch is okay and the next working is 1 to 4 30 pm okay that was totally ruined by a sound sleep Okay, that was a real problem and after that there is no traveling and after that again I, I work around 6 to 8 30 pm okay it's acceptable and dinner is 8 30 to 9 okay it's acceptable now sleep of 8 hours so as we are at home our traveling time obviously gone off so traveling i i have three hours of traveling per day so that was totally ruined. that was totally gone and in bit with three uh, three slots of working slots i skip one slot and i have worked for two of two slots only so that skipping part is three and a half hours so that three and a half hours was filled with sleep so how can i sleep at eight o'clock in a stretch at night that was a difficult problem so because of this i may have sleeping problem and because of not having traveling time I, ha I may have some metabolic problems I may have some appetite problems so there are so many problems because of this time schedule of lack of time schedule 
okay let's go ahead and distort because of this distorted time schedule we may have these problems and how can we cover all these problems so that we can enjoy at home safely and happily okay that's what my intention is let me see what exactly the problems we are facing the problems of staying at home are insomnia loss of appetite constipation so insomnia means it's a lack of sleep that means in telugu it is nidra levi so we are unable to sleep we can't get sleep properly so yes we, we have already discussed and how i have changed my time of the afternoon time is my sound sleeping time now so in because of that i was unable to get sleep at night so that's that problem is because of that problem is called insomnia and coming to loss of appetite as we are as my traveling time was gone off so there is no pro proper consumption of energy from my body so i won't get appetite so this is problem so this is loss of appetite problem and coming to constipation constipation means it's the last uh, last work of digestion system so we may get we may unable to get this same thing because of all these metabolic activities so maybe uh, lack of appetite so without appetite we may have we may have some maybe exact food maybe with uh, as daily routine we may have the food then we are unable to get it and as as there is no proper sleep we may not get this and the, everything is in interlinked so how to get get rid of all these problems and how to make our lives happy at home in, in these days so let us see what are the classical solutions of these things actually these are the old problems only uh, nothing new in it and uh, so many from ancient people and our ancestors have already gone through all these problems and they have already got so many solutions and now they were very happy so let us see the classical solutions are water drink sufficient water so if you drink sufficient water you may not have constipation problems and what are the sufficient water oh, sufficient water means it's 3.7 liters of fluids per man okay definitely that may not be water okay maybe from fluids also maybe drinks cool drinks or maybe uh, some rasam sambar all these things so whatever may be it's a fluid type of things for men it is 3.7 liters and for women it is 2.7 liters so definitely we should drink this much of water per day okay next exercise physical do some physical exercise to compensate the traveling time and physical work at office for example you as for faculty of any colleges they move here and there and now it it comes to the period of online teaching so for online teaching there is no movement at all okay that's the problem so in that physical work at office so what we are doing some movements at office or at colleges and schools We, that was lacking in this period and the traveling period is also lacking so to get rid of this period and the physical exercise was done in this period that we have to do at home in a separate manner and uh, with that efficiency or with that to compensate the same so this the physical exercise may be more or less when compared to that and physical exercise means i we don't do much exercises also if you walk also it's very good thing if you do little bit at least little bit of exercise and definitely it should be around half an hour to one hour otherwise there is no use at all and next food yeah eat sufficient food we need to eat sufficient food sufficient food means the food should be optimum food if you are unable to do exercise means your food should be reduced you may have at no food for some periods also no problem. you may have fasting for some uh, time some period of food that means for out of three meals you may skip one meal and you may have two meals only 
because we don't have that much physical exercise okay that you have to balance otherwise your metabolism will be spoiled and all the above problems will come to picture okay please keep that in mind and please take sufficient food okay if you are doing physical exercise you can take three meal otherwise you need to reduce three meal to two meal or you may reduce three normal meal to two meal uh, with one food food only fruit meals or some liquid meals like that then it will be compensated and nothing will happen to you and your life will be normal and your metabolism will be as usual in the second set of uh, solutions means uh, yeah these are for lack of sleep insomnia so to maintain proper timings you need to go to bed at at particular time and you need to wake up at the same at the particular time as usual as as usual uh, how you are doing it and those things should be done properly then you will get good sleep and don't go to bed in the afternoon that's very very dangerous thing because that is not at all uh, habituated to any person actually yet if any person is going to office means he won't sleep at uh, afternoon so don't sleep in the afternoon because you have the time so you may go to bed after taking lunch but that is really problematic thing if you go like that you won't get sleep at night okay and meditation so keep your keep your soul clean so with meditation or uh, reading some favorite books or some favorite works so so you need to engage your time with your favorite things so if you like to read books you just read books if you like to see movies you just see movies if you like to see TV, you just see TV. If you like to engage with children, you just go and engage with children. If you like to play games, you just go and play games. Like that, you can engage your time with your soulmate. That means with your uh, how your soul will drive you. That means your soul may tell you that see these type of movies. Just see those movies. Only. So in that way, clean your soul so that you will be happy. You will enjoy in your life in these days i am talking about these days only next yeah don't habituate to these things in this period because this period is completely uh, free period so if you if you have properly planned your day then only you will go accordingly otherwise you will go like this like in a very bad condition don't sleep in the afternoon okay that is very very dangerous item and don't use mobile before going to bed okay don't do this if you if you go to bed with mobile means you are you are sleep, you won't get sleep up to 1 hour or 2 hours also. don't eat continuously this is also very dangerous thing as we are at home we keep taking something and we keep eating the same okay that was not the thing when we were at office so please keep that in mind and next never put on more than 5 kg of weight so please keep checking your weight if you put on 5 kg of weight then you need to reduce your food for the next day and what's okay you need to take only two or one meal out of three okay otherwise you you will be in bad shape or you will be uh, out of work also you can't work after the after this period so my my main intention is we need to we need to go to our works after this period as usual okay if you keep on enjoying this period leisurely or eating more things or we are unable to take any anything seriously these things if these things are there then we will we can't work after this period okay that thing should not be there so please never put on your weight more than 5 kg so please keep please keep a, an eye on your weight also and get home stuff into your mind yeah don't get your home stuff into your mind because you are really a corner to your home now okay yes we never spend more than 8 hours more than 4 to 5 hours only a life at home okay after that we will sleep so don't try to solve all the problems and don't try to evolve in some uh, crucial issues at home okay 
if you do such things then your mind will be in doubt okay don't go ahead with them and don't be rude or more attached to the children or elders okay don't go don't do this also don't quarrel with, with your parents and don't quarrel with your children that's not the good so be happy with them and try to try to engage with them as less time as fruitful otherwise as more time as fruitful fruitful thing is definitely there you okay, don't be rude and don't be attached so because after after this period we need to go to work okay, please keep your mind and your body towards work okay after this period you should go as usual okay you should not uh, feel any embarrassing thing after you go to office so please stay at home and stay safe and enjoy the family and enjoy the home and be enjoy the life okay so thank thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and family and please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed till date and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any video thank you thank you so much